Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the multi-camera editing feature in Premiere Pro. Right now, as I'm speaking, I have three different cameras recording. The one that I'm talking to right now is camera angle one, the one right over here is camera angle two, and the one right over here is camera angle three. They're all being recorded at 1080p HD, 30 frames per second. Can you guess which one is recording on the iPhone 6? I've also included a link below to download the footage from all three cameras so you can follow along in this editing tutorial, okay? And one other tip I have before I get started in Premiere Pro is that when you're recording your own multicam videos, be sure that the camera audio is on on all the cameras. So it doesn't matter, like it can be the on-camera sound as long as one of the cameras is recording with high quality sound that you can sync all of the different camera angles with. So right now the camera angle one that I'm looking at is currently synced with this lavalier microphone on the Sennheiser that I have clipped to me right now. So that's just one tip that will really help you inside of Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, you guys, so we're here inside of Premiere Pro and after you import the three different camera angles, what you're going to do is right click here in the project panel, create a new bin, call it whatever you like. I'm gonna call it multi-cam here. And then just drag and drop these three clips by selecting them and drag them into the bin here. And then you're going to right click on the bin folder and select create multi-camera source sequence. This is going to open up a dialog box where you can choose how you are going to combine these clips um, into one multi-cam sequence, okay? So you can synchronize them by in and out points, by the time code or audio. We are going to use audio in this tutorial. So make sure that the audio is selected. For sequence preset, just make it automatic so it keeps to the 1080p. And then right now we have to choose the sequence settings for audio, okay? So there's three different options here when you select this little drop down menu. There's camera one, and what this is going to do, it's going to sync all of the clips with the audio from camera one. And then for all cameras, what that's going to do, it's going to mix all of the three audio tracks from the different cameras together. And then switch audio, what this does is when you begin to edit your multicam sequence, when you select a new camera, it will use the audio from that camera. So because I only have one high quality track from camera one here, I want to choose camera one because I want to sync all of the different camera angles with the audio track recorded from camera one, okay? So once that is selected, you're going to hit okay. So what this is going to do is create a process clips folder here. And then it's also going to create a multi-cam source sequence. So before we can start editing, what you have to do is create a multi-cam target sequence. And to do that, you're going to right click here on this multi-cam source sequence, and you're going to create a new sequence from clip, okay? And what this does now is create a new sequence that you can edit. So right now, all you see as you scrub through this sequence in the program monitor is just camera angle one. So what you have to do now is actually enable multi-cam editing. And to do that, you have to click here on toggle multi-cam view. If you do not have this here in this toolbar, you can go to the button editor and add the toggle multi-cam view to your toolbox, okay? So once you click on that, what it's going to happen is you're gonna have two different windows here. The left window is gonna show all the different camera angles that you have in your multi-cam sequence. And on the right is the composite view. It's everything that you see within the final sequence in your final video project, okay? You can also change the order of these cameras here in this viewer. If you go to this toolbar here and you select it, you can go to edit cameras and you can actually change the order of them and also deactivate the cameras as well, which is something useful to know when you're editing your own projects. So I'm good with this order, I'm just gonna hit okay. 
So now it's time to switch between the different camera angles, okay? You're going to bring the playhead to the beginning of the sequence here, and you'll notice that camera angle one and camera angle two have gone black, and that is because the video picture had not begun before, and actually camera number three is actually a longer video clip. But if you hit play, this is how you start to switch the camera angle, hit play, and now you can actually select the camera you want it to switch to as the video is playing. So let's say we want it to go to camera angle two. You just select camera angle two with your mouse and it will switch over. And then let's say you wanna to switch to camera angle three. After a few more seconds, you're just going to select camera angle three. And also another shortcut that you can use is actually use the numerical keys on your main keyboard to switch between the camera angles. So if I wanted to go back to camera angle one, I would hit one on the keyboard. And if I wanted to switch to camera angle two, I would hit two. And then if you wanted to switch to three, you can just hit three and so on. So now if I stop the plane of the sequence here by hitting the space bar again, you will now see when I zoom into the sequence here that there are now cuts here. You can see these cuts of when I switched camera angles, okay? Let's say you wanted to make any adjustments here or refinements to this edit, no problem. Let's say you wanted this cut to happen sooner. What you can use is the rolling edit tool, okay? And the rolling edit tool is this toolbar here. You can also hit N on your keyboard as a shortcut and it enables the rolling edit. And you can actually drag this edit to occur earlier in the timeline, okay? And let's say that you actually wanted to change a camera angle. If you go back to your mouse tool here, your selection tool, and you select this clip, you can actually change this to be camera angle three instead of camera angle two simply by pressing three. And it will automatically switch it to a different camera angle, okay? And then from here, you can just add any effects or any color correction or transitions just like you would with any other sequence. It's really easy to do. You don't have to worry about getting things out of sync. Premiere Pro does that all for you. So I hope that you guys found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any tutorial requests, go to my website, premiergal.com tutorials and leave your request there and I'll be sure to get to it as soon as I can. I make video production tutorials every week. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.